Hey, Dr. Jeff Johnson again uh, looking at an MRI scan. Uh, again, this is an MRI scan of the lumbar spine and once again this is an abnormal study and uh, this one shows a disc herniation uh, that is just a so-called far lateral or foraminal disc herniation that uh, make up just a small percentage of all disc herniations. I have another uh, video in this series which shows a more traditional disc herniation and will show how this is a little different. Um, this scan also shows a number of abnormalities, so-called abnormalities, that are not really relevant in terms of a person's pain, and that's important uh, to distinguish that as well. So we're going to start again here on the left. These are the profile or sagittal views, as if the person is standing and facing here. So this is the back. This is the spine. The larger areas are the bones, the vertebral bodies. The spaces between are the discs, which are made out of cartilage and the spinal canal is here. Once again, this is the nerve space, and we can see uh, spinal cord uh, tapering and ending, and then turning into individual nerve roots here, which are these wavy lines, and once again, the white is water. Uh, now, um, looking at these views, we see a number of so-called degenerative disc changes, um, and uh, th these are changes that are frequently uh, overstated in terms of their importance. But we do see how dramatically different in appearance these discs are than, than the others, these being more healthy looking discs and these being narrower, more irregular, and having this white uh, stuff adjacent to the disc space. The, the white is called modic change, M-O-D-I-C. It's probably some reflection of inflammation. Um, very common finding, very nonspecific and not clearly a source of pain. In fact, it can exist in people who have no pain at all frequently does. Uh, this scan also shows other little areas where there's extension of what appears to be bone or disc material into the canal and these are not um, not relevant, not causing pain or not causing impingement of nerve roots. However, uh, what I want to go back to here is to show the foramina which is where the nerve roots leave the spine. So again that's a nerve and this is the foramen so at every level we see a nerve exiting the spine and that's on the right side. If we go to the left side and we focus on this level here, we're going to see stuff uh, occupying that foramen right here and affecting that nerve and especially when we get to this cut right here we see that it's hard to see the nerve. Uh, we can go back and forth and see where it was but this is what a foraminal or far lateral disc herniation is. Here we're seeing the two adjacent nerves and they look okay and this is one that does not appear to be okay and we can see from the scout lines on the axial view that we're off way off to the side on the on the left side and in fact this is a person who has pain down the front of their left thigh and so that would uh, be consistent with this. Uh, now let's go to that axial view and again these are cross sections as if the person is laying on their back and we're looking up from the direction of the feet so again, this is the back, front, right side, left side. Back muscles are here, kidneys are here, and this is the spine. Once again, this is the disc. These are those joints, the facet joints. The spinal canal is here, the white is water, the nerves are little dots, and the foramina are out here, and this is the nerve in the foramen out there. So here we are at this L2-3 level, uh, which had all the degenerative disc changes, but look kind of un unimpressive on the axial views and certainly nothing looks like it's pinching those nerves. L3-4 looks perfect, nothing affecting the nerves or the two nerves in the foramina. Uh, but when we get to L4-5 we see that thing out there. So here's the corresponding right-sided nerve, here's the nerve on the left side, and so here's that thing and it's way off to the side. Now recall there's another video in the series that shows a disc herniation within the canal which is where about 95 percent of these are only about 5% are out here in the foramina. Uh, so this would be affecting the L4 uh, nerve root, uh, not the L5 nerve root, even though it's at the L4 or 5 level. Now, um, this is a particularly pain-sensitive part of the nerve. It's where the nerve's cell bodies live. It's the so-called ganglion. And so these are particularly painful. Also, the foramen is a small structure to begin with, and so it doesn't take much to fill it up and really affect the nerve there. So this can be very painful. Uh, now, these are uh, cared for in the same way as other disc herniations, which is to say that they can often resolve on their own or they can be treated in various fashions. So this is a far lateral disc herniation.